हेलो एवरीवन एज अ पार्ट ऑफ वेटिंग शिक्षण प्रोग्राम आई एम डीलिंग विद कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट इन दैट आई एम डीलिंग विद एप्लीकेशन लेयर मॉड्यूल एंड जस्ट टेक अवे फॉर दिस सेशन आई थिंक वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हैश टेबल एंड हाउ बिटोरेंट अप्लीकेशन वर्क वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट अप्लीकेशन ऑफ पेयर टू पेयर नेटवर्क Uh, I think uh, in this lecture we'll see the very important applications of client server. Uh, how client server works corresponding to two important protocols of transport layer. I think we all know about the two important protocols of transport layer. One is TCP protocol and one is UDP protocol. Okay, we'll see how client server behaves for TCP and also for UDP. We'll see one by one. and we'll call the communication between happening between uh, the client and server with the help of udp and tcp protocol as socket programming okay the the main characteristics of udp we all know about that udp will not send any acknowledgement but in case of tcp it will send the acknowledgement okay the client reads a line of characters from its keyboard and sends the data to the server The server receives the data and converts the characters to uppercase. The server sends the modified data to the client. Okay, so this is an example. The client receives the modified data and displays the line on its screen. It's a typical example how it works. And this is exactly how exactly the uh, the main communication between TCP or UDP will happens between client and server. The client will always initiate the communication before that. The server should be ready always. Uh, with the help of socket you know uh, method it will send a request and with the help of uh, socket or request uh, it will make the uh, user to uh, with the help of udp udp se uh, segment with the help of a method called a server socket which is going to connect with the client okay in the meanwhile client will create the socket with the help of client socket okay and with the help of server socket the client socket will connect Uh, with the help of the same port number that is going to assign between the client and server and whatever the data that's going to type at the client side a uh, server side that will be displayed at the client side that's going to happen with the help of read and write message after having the communication it has to close okay this is the overall architecture of udp protocol corresponding to client server we'll see how it exactly works with the help of linux and normant with an example i'll show you the execution Okay, the overall picture of client server corresponding to UDP is client will send a request. Before that, UDP will create its socket with the help of client socket and server socket. They will having a connection between them. And once after creating the server socket, server socket will send a request uh, of reading or writing. After reading the data and writing the data, they have to close the communication. and the next important architecture of uh, client server between the uh, between the client server with the help of tcp protocol okay so how exactly the tcp protocol behaves corresponding to tcp client and the server where the client will establish a connection with the server with the help of three way handshake procedure i think we we will see the details of three way handshake procedure in the third module which is a transport layer module okay so once after establishing the connection between client and server the client and server will exchange the information between the uh, between them okay and now again before sending before having any connection the client will establish a connection with the uh, server by exchanging the three way handshake procedure and once after accepting the request the client will send a request uh, accept message with the help of accept here you can see here and once after receiving the accept the client will send the client socket and server will connect bind to the client socket and client will uh, server will write the data and client will read the data and they both will close the connection okay if the server is busy immediately it has to re, uh, i mean uh, rebuild the connection from the scratch this is the overall architecture or the picture of tcp protocol corresponding to client and server now let me explain how exactly these two protocol works with the help of uh, uh, you know online programs we can see here i have taken the virtual machine uh, with the help of uh, you know uh, linux and normant uh, you know uh, it's a linux and normant i am creating i am opening two terminals 
I'll call the first terminal as client and the second terminal as the server. Okay, this is client and this is the server. And I had already uh, copied the program from the desktop. So let me go to the desktop here. And within that, let me go within this. If this is a uh, folder where I had saved the code. Similarly, here also, let me go for the desktop. And within that, let me go with an TCP and UDP folder and let me execute. Let me uh, explain how the UDP protocol works first. Let me open two, the two programs of client and, client and server here. I had saved with the help of the sender uh, dot Java here and similarly, we space the receiver dot Java. This is the sender program and this is the receiver program. And uh, I think we, you can, whatever the method names I had explained there, we, are, we can able to see the methods here, the same methods here. It's going to uh, create an instance called uh, DS with the help of datagram socket, with the help of new operator. And whatever the input uh, characters, characters I'm going to enter, all the data will be scanned with the help of system.in method. And whatever the message I'm going to uh, type that can be entered uh, after this uh, printf statement. Until, unless the user uh, press control set or stop the connection, it's keep on taking the data. Okay. And it's going to take, uh, the, as we are using the local machine, both client and server, we have to use a local IP address. We can call this IP address as a default IP address 127.0.0.1. It's also called as look back IP address. Okay. With the help of datagram packet, we can able to type the message. You can see here. A uh, data uh, packet will always have uh, four important parameters message dot get bytes, followed by uh, the length of the message, the IP address. This IP address is going to take because I'm going to say with the help of IP with a port number. Where you got this port number? The port number you got from, uh, from the uh, receiver. It's going to open a connection with the help of port number 3000. So the same port number we have to give. If it have given a different port number, immediately it will terminate the connection. Okay, the port number should always start with 1024 in the board and it should have between uh, 1024 to 65,535. Okay, so similarly in the uh, receiver side also, it's going to take the maximum length of the data as 1024. Okay, so that's a uh, size and it's going to consider the data from the beginning of the data to the maximum length of the data. That's what they are given here. From the zeroth data from the beginning to the last part of the data, it's going to consider until unless we are going to press control set. Okay. So now, uh, this is what about uh, uh, TCP, uh, uh, I mean UDP receiver, and this is all about uh, uh, UDP center. So first, I think we know about this. When we're talking about client server, we have to execute the server first of this. So we have to execute Java space. Java is a compiler. Uh, we'll execute uh, uh, the receiver program like this. Okay. We'll get the byte code. Meanwhile, let me execute the sender also. It's going to send the connection or uh, build the connection between uh, server with the server. Okay. Once after executing the client, you have to compile. After compiling the client, you have to execute the byte code with the help of this command. Okay. The receiver is ready now. Or the, uh, the socket communication has been built between the client and server with the port number 3000. Okay. Let me go to the sender. What I has to do? He has to use the interpreter Java and has to execute uh, the bytecode uh, D dot sender. The, it's going to write for the message. Okay. From this part, this is the way the zero way, 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 where it is indicating. For example, hello computer. For example, networks. Okay, it's going to copy all the message from client to the server. Okay, once until unless I press control set or stop the stop typing, uh, all the data will be taken by the receiver. That's what from zero to data to the the total length of the data is going to consider. Okay, so once you type control set, it stops receiving the data. Okay, now let me show you one modification out of it. Okay, I will change. What I'll do is, I will change the port number. Let me see the change the port number and let me show you what the message gets. Okay. 
okay so once after executing uh, changing the data if you try to execute the same things uh, compile the sender compile the receiver execute the receiver now you are going to get a error what is that you, are, you cannot bind with the actual client because of the port number this is an exception okay so this is all about uh, client server with respect to tcp protocol let me let me explain how exactly this tcp uh, protocol works on client server okay let me open that we uh, tcp sender server dot java okay on the other side we a space tcp uh, sender server and uh, clients dot java okay so we'll see one by one uh, the client protocol uh, the client program is going to have uh, uh, two important things one is out and in because it's a two-way communication and uh, it's going to use the IP address as default IP address with the port number 6000 you can use whatever the port number above 1024 and uh, we are going to exchange the you uh, know file from one uh, client to server so you have to enter the file name and it will leave the file name and we all know about the client server uh, you know socket programming it will not understand the text normal text so we have to convert the text to UTF format what is the meaning of UTF uniform transformation code format okay you will convert the data uh, the entire type uh, text normal text to UTF format and it will determine whether the file is present in my folder or not once it is present and the content is greater than zero it will display the content of the file if the file is present if the content is not greater than zero file is empty if the file itself is not present it will display file is not present okay so these are the things we can have uh, at the client side and at the server side also we have to use the same port number 6000 can we have multiple clients yes we can have of course we can have multiple clients but the, we have for that time being we are going to consider only one client so we are taking it as one it is going to accept the connection after establishing the three-way communication and it's going to read the message if i read the file name and it's going to transfer the content of the file name from the client to the server okay so this is what you can, you can check if you have any doubts regarding this you can contact me i'll help you the greater details of it okay. let me uh, execute this uh how it works let me uh, show the uh, details of this this is also a very important one uh, this is clients uh, this is server okay so let me execute the server first we all know about that with the help of java compiler yes it's running go for java space tcp server it's a bytecode it's 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 waiting for the clients now we'll go with the tcp clients with java it's also compiling now i uh, will execute this with the help of the interpreter okay it's enter the file file name to the question i think uh, we have uh, ex.txt file is there okay file is empty i have not entered any file there so file is file requested is ex.txt file successfully let me enter some data within that file okay hello sorry hello good morning okay so now we'll uh, execute the clients and we'll execute the server we'll execute the server now we'll execute the client now or oh, ex.txt yes the content was hello good morning that's it's transferring from client to the server client connected file requested is yes.txt and file changed. this is the connection between happening between the client and server uh, that usually happens between uh, uh, that that can be executed with the help of uh, tcp and udp okay this is all about uh, the model number one if you have any doubts at any point of time or other uh, of the modules you can contact me uh, thank you so much for your patience listening.